most downloaded app on the Japanese App Store for 50 million registered users. Is Japan on its way to become a cashless society? Hi everyone, welcome to DMFA Digital Marketing for Asia. My name is Joanna and I am a marketing manager working here at SoftBank Telecom Europe. In today's video, we are going to talk about PayPay, which is Japan's most popular digital wallet. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to our DMFA channel and keep on watching this video because it's packed with very important information. Over the years, Japan has been known as a very cash driven country and cash was present in all aspects of everyday life. But with fast pacing digitalization and the COVID-19 pandemic, this situation is starting to change a little bit. Is Japan becoming a cashless society? Well, this is a question I will try to answer in today's video. So let's go. Before we move on to discussing the digital payments in Japan, uh, let me give you a little bit of a background. Not so long ago, having cash on hand at all times was a necessity in Japan. Japan was relatively slow with accommodating um, cashless payment methods, for example, credit cards, when you compare Japan to other, let's say, Western countries. The COVID-19 pandemic, however, encouraged more and more cash-loving Japanese people to move towards digital forms of payment. Uh, let me read words of Mike Kanetsugu, who is a chairman of the Japanese Bankers Associ Association. In February 2021, he said that a trend toward cashless payments, which so far progressed gradually, has picked up speed during the pandemic. On top of that, in recent years, cashless payments have been promoted in Japan with the Japanese government planning to double cashless transactions to account of 40% of consumption by 2025. PayPay is the largest digital wallet app in Japan. It was launched back in 2018 by SoftBank and Yahoo Japan and has now over 50 million registered users. It is also the most downloaded app on the Japanese app store. PayPay works kind of like a prepaid card. There are no joining fees and there is no minimum balance. Once you have an account open, you simply top it up and it is ready to use. Also, you don't need to have a Japanese bank account, so it is very easy to open even for foreigners. And PayPay can be used in two ways. The first option to pay with PayPay is by scanning a barcode. All you need to do is whenever you're ready to check out, open your PayPay app and select payment. Then show your phone to the shop assistant so they can scan a barcode that pops up on your screen. Boom, you are done, super easy. The second way is done by scanning a QR code. Just like with the first method, you need to open your PayPay app and select scan option. Then, scan the shop's QR code that's displayed around the checkout area and follow the instructions on the screen to complete and confirm the payment. Using PayPay has many benefits. So first of all, you get a 0.5% cashback on all of the purchases made with PayPay. And while 0.5% may not sound like a lot, I think as the time goes by, you can build up a chunk of money. There are also lo loads of sign-up perks, like getting 500 yen when you open the account and getting 1000 yen when you do your first top-up. There are also many special um, campaigns run by PayPay. PayPay can be used nationwide at shops, stores, restaurants, hotels, basically everywhere. It is also available to make online transactions and bill payments. Payments made with PayPay are safe and secure. And there is lots of measures implemented to protect customer personal information and prevent unauthorized use. What's interesting is that you can also uh, share your balance with your friends and family. Apart from shopping, you can use PayPay to do lots of other financial operations like settle utility bills, uh, order food, invest in stock market, or use coupons. So what are the benefits for having a PayPay payment method available on your e-commerce site? You might wonder. Uh, so I think Japan has loads of um, unique payment methods available and not having one of them available on your website might make or break the sale. There is a lot of people who do not have credit cards or who do not have PayPal account in Japan, uh, in contrary to lots of Western countries. Uh, having PayPay payment option on your e-commerce website is a must for all businesses who want to improve their sales. DMFA, Digital Marketing for Asia, is a part of the SoftBank group, so we can support you and your business with setting up the PayPay and other SB payment services on your e-commerce website. 
If you need more information, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. We offer a free consultation and I will leave the link to the contact form in the description down below. And now to answer the question of is Japan on its way to become a cashless society? Global Data, which is a leading data and analytics company, said that apart from the digital wallet boom, the Japanese card payment market is expected to register in robust growth of 8.5% in 2022, supported by strong economic recovery and rising consumer spending. So even though the COVID-19 pandemic resulted in a decline in consumer spending, it also brought a significant shift in consumer payment habits and preferences towards cards and other non-cash payment methods. As COVID-19 restrictions gradually ease, the use of card payments is expected to grow at a fast pace, supported by rise in consumer spending, increase in contactless payments, and government initiatives. I think it is safe to say that Japan is moving towards becoming a cashless society, but in a very Japanese way. We already spoke about the Galapagos syndrome and the fact that there is so many, over the years, there's been so many services and products available in Japan and widely used in Japan, but not really known in other countries. And the same goes for the payment systems. There's loads of different um, digital and non-cash payment systems available in Japan. So I think this is crucial to know which ones are the most popular and which ones should you have available on your e-commerce e website to drive more sales and increase your profit. Okay, and that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was useful and you could learn something new about digital payment methods in Japan and could understand what PayPay is. Uh, so yeah, um, what do you think about PayPay? If you live in Japan, do you use PayPay every day? If you are not in Japan, what do you think about possibility of using um, QR code payments? I want to know your opinion, so make sure to leave your comment in the comment section below. As usual, please don't forget to subscribe to our DMFA channel. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye!